Wondering what you need to do inside Xero to handle the new CIS VAT changes? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And right now in the construction industry, there's been some massive changes to the way VAT works from March this year. And as a result, you need to do some practical things inside of your software to deal with these changes. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you've gotta do. So let's go. So this is the screen for Xero. And as you can see, this is the demo company. So we've just brought this up. And actually in Xero, turning this code on is really easy. So the reason you wanna do it is when you go to your invoices at the moment, so you go in here, there's lots of ways of getting in your invoicing, you can see you've got tax rates and you've got all your normal codes. Now I just wanna make sure that you're aware this one is not the code to use, so don't use the reverse charge one. This is used in other circumstances. What you wanna do is go into the menu here. So you go into accounting, advanced, and then what you're looking for is tax rates down here. And then you're looking for the magical blue button that says add domestic reverse charge tax rates. So as you can see, domestic reverse charge is different to reverse charge. In fact, you might wanna consider deleting this code unless you do stuff with Europe and, and places like that. But for now, don't delete it unless you really need to because you might need it one day, but just bear in mind, do not use this code. Um, so you can add in the domestic reverse charge, gives you all the options and you literally just put add domestic reverse charge rates and that is it, they are in there. And what that means then is when you go to an invoice, you can now use your domestic charge rates in here. So your tax rate. If you just type in here, you can see domestic reverse charge. And you might think that's really interesting. They've got 20% and 5%. Why is that the case? Because the domestic reverse charge will apply a zero rate. So, you know, if you just put in here 100, uh, one at 100 pounds, and you put domestic reverse charge rate at 20%, you can see that actually what's going to happen is there's still no VAT. The reason that is, is that it's applying a code to the 20% you would have charged. And it's very important. So if you're still doing a new build or something like that, which would normally be zero rated, you're still gonna use your zero rated code here to do. But if you are applying a domestic reverse charge to something that has normally, so let's just say you've just done some labor in a normal place, you would normally charge that. You're looking for this one, VAT on income, and it will apply it properly for you. It will report in your VAT return and that is it. So there we go. That's what you need to do in zero to get yourself ready for the domestic reverse charge. We'll see you on the next one.